It's putting me in right with demons immediately, so let's uh, clear this out before we take a second to breathe, I guess. Luckily, I still remember the controls since it's only been a day. Beaver beer breathing not allowed here. Well, the demons certainly seem to think so. Okay, so let's take a moment to check our bearings. Uh, let's see, map. So we are currently in the center area here, and we gotta go up to the Ashlands and then over using the horse ruin to make the, the jump across the bridge. I've also been informed that apparently I missed some life crystals. I'm not likely going to be doing a lot of backtracking on stream to try and find everything. Uh, maybe I'll do something between this stream and the next one to try and uh, gather up some of the collectibles. Especially if I happen to get the uh, grappling hook or whatever I need to uh, launch my way up to some higher areas that I couldn't get to before. Uh, so that likely won't be uh, on stream. I mostly want to focus on the story elements, so let's uh, let's get to the uh, the Ashlands and uh, continue on to the the webbed area where the spider is. Now, last stream I took off the life stealing uh, improvement because I found it really useless. But I do kind of wish this game had better life recovery. Like, I'm sitting at almost five bars right now with two empty bars. But I find that I like never get health recovery from any enemies, except for the standard zombie. Whoa. Let's, uh, let's not deal with meeting Grumbly there. I'm just talking about how I want to get health recovery, not lose a health bar. Come back, Vulgrim. Back, Vulgrim. Right, there we go. Okay, so I don't need to go all the way to the Leviathan's Drift. I should be able to get where I want to go from the Ashlands entrance. There's plenty of life recovery. It's called dodging. You're not wrong. Well, I mean, dodging doesn't give you life recovery. It just avoids the damage initially. But I am really bad at dodging. I play most games like uh, Rocky Balboa uh, fights, in which, uh, you know, just tank the hits and keep on swinging. That's how I play Dark Souls. Last time I played through Dark Souls 3, I went through a dual wielding build, so I had no block and I just had to dodge the whole time. It's one of my favorites, actually. I might do a Dark Souls uh, 2 Scholar of the First Sin playthrough at some point soon. Just because I've beaten all three Dark Souls games, and I love them, but I've never played Scholar of the First Sin. How on earth did you clear a Dark Souls game Rocky Balboa style? Oh, I mean I dodged to Dark Souls, I just, uh, I don't really use a shield to block. Also, Dark Souls games aren't that hard. Let's be real here. Unless it's like a really big guy, you can tank a lot of hits. Okay, so this is the bridge. So I need to charge through the pillars. That's what Samuel said. Alright, Ruin, let's do this. Soul Bridge. War can now access once dormant Soul Bridge is charged. Ruin through the pillars to activate them. There we go. And look at some webs.
surprised there's been no enemies. This has been the most peace peaceful ride on horseback I've seen yet. I get that you go on a like show that there's a distance between the two areas, but man, <laughs> unless. Barnacles! Oh no, spider attack. Oh no! So unexpected in an area full of spider webs. Man, those are hideous. Hideous spider mouths. Oh, they got him. Break free war. You did mistime it. That's okay, though. Okay. Where am I on the map now? I am over here. So there's a symbol that I don't recognize there. I think it's a key. Okay. Let's take a look around. And I'm certain I get the grappling hook here because it looked like right before that cutscene started there was a couple grappling hook points to get back out of this area. Yeah, it's a locked door. Okay. Okay, no going that way. Another grappling hook point. Yep, so this is definitely the place where the grappling hook is acquired. Come here, you little spider critter. Oops. Over here. What's up? Doesn't look like you can do anything against tall, dark, and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. Yep. Not a lot I can do there. I can deal with this, however. Okay. Oh, is this just so I can... Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so now I can get up top, but that's not actually what I need to do right now. So, Beaverbeard, I know you were playing through this game as well while I was streaming it. Did you uh, finish this place yet? Nope, I've been waiting for you. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll do it together then. Huh. I have to assume I use the chronosphere. Uh, so that. There, you big ugly spider. Catch me now. Anything up? Nope. Dropping down. Do a quick 360, make sure there's nothing behind me. It's a weird, like, door frame to nothing. Man, these angels are so relentless. Man, using these buzzsaw attacks against one-on-one -on -one enemies is just so strong. I love it. Anything over there? Nope. Yeah, yeah, creek, creek, I get it. Okay, so I need the key to go in there, and I don't have the key yet. Oh no, it broke. Whoever could have foresaw such a thing?
like I'm getting better at this game. At least I'm doing cooler things. Okay, what have we got? Hello? Doing cooler things is good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I gotta somehow lower this. There's a crystal down there to break, but what's over this way? Oh, you're like an egg, okay. Break. Burst. There you go. These things aren't even, like, worth my time, but they're just there. So what did that do? Oh, there's a treasure chest here. I must say, I'm really liking that spin the scythe around me move. It's just really strong. Don't forget to break the wooden walls in the rooms leading to the one you're in when you leave. Wooden walls. Okay. Oh, like you can break those? Whoa! I fell off. Okay, so I got a slow timey bit there. There's a wrath core shard. Oh, I mean like in here. In this hallway. Oh, these wooden walls. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Oh wait, that was wrath. That was just wrath. There must be break. Hope that one doesn't break. Do you break? You do break. Aha! Perfect. Thank you.